Hey guys, so uh, just got back from an afternoon hunt a couple hours ago. It wasn't good at all. Saw very few birds, um, hardly shot. So here's that clip. <sighs> Looks like I'm the only one out here. Kind of surprising. I mean, maybe everybody's uh, already going duck hunting, but uh, yep, just me today for right now in the morning at least. Usually. Already missed two dove. I didn't think there was dove coming in. They landed behind the truck. That's pretty much has been my shooting for uh, all season. Yep. Well, that sucks. Ah, I'm horrible shot. Come on, man. I gotta do better than that. Just laying it right in front of me. Are you serious? <sighs> yeah that's it um that was pretty much all it was uh i woke up i woke up on time but i forgot about this uh sunrise being an hour earlier because we had the uh hour rollback so I forgot time rolls back and the sunrise goes earlier so uh, usually I've had better luck when as soon as the sun breaks the tree line the birds are flying so I went hunting this afternoon it was even worse uh, I honestly saw one bird and I hit one bird that was it I'm surprised I even hit it so uh, that's my my bird that I want to uh, clean and cook I had some other doves that I had in the freezer so uh, I'm going to show you guys how we do it. And the dogs are playing in the background. What's going on there, YouTube? I'm back out. Uh, I've been uh, coming out dove hunting these past couple, like, week and a half, two weeks. Haven't really been doing much, so I haven't been uploading any videos. But today... Sadly, it is coming to an end of the first season of uh, the first half of dove season uh, season. It actually ends tomorrow, but I got to go to work. So this evening hunt is my last one until the second half on December 20th, I believe here in Texas. So hopefully we can get some doves. I came out this morning, didn't catch any of them. Um, it was few and far between. I think I only shot maybe about five times. I only saw three doves that I can potentially hit I missed but it was a uh, it was a uh, few and far between like I said so hopefully it picks up a little bit I got my decoys out there um, afternoon hunts have uh, produced better for me so uh, hopefully I can get some a couple dove uh, I'm not asking to limit out but if I can get some maybe do a uh, catch clean and cook that'd be pretty awesome so hopefully we can end the first half of dove season, uh, season right so wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Well, I caught me a white wing dove. You guys didn't see it on the video. I didn't have it uh, rolling because it's been so slow. It's actually the first dove that I've seen these past two and a half hours. But I clipped it and got it but sorry i didn't catch it on video i was going back to the truck to get uh to get my sweater the wind's kind of blowing but i picked it off <sighs> a white wing dove no bands it's a good size one. 
So, it's still legal shooting time. I still got some time left, but I've only honestly seen one bird. It was this one. I have shot only three shells this whole time I've been here for the past three hours. So, I'm gonna do a clean of a dove. Yeah, I use gloves. I don't like getting all bloody and all that kind of stuff. So, I got one dove, three shells, which on average, I think it's like eight shells per dove. It's a white wing, beautiful looking bird. But I'm gonna show you guys how to clean a dove. I doubt I'm gonna see some more doves flying, so that's why I'm doing it while we still have some sun. So, so how I clean them, you pretty much want to start pulling the feathers out. This is how I do it. There's probably so many ways to do it to clean a dove but this is how I go about it just pull the feathers out expose the breast it's pretty easy I also like to uh, get rid of the skin so you can actually see the meat, the breast, all of its glory. Just see how juicy and good it looks. See, you got a shot right there on the breast. I'm sorry, you guys didn't get to see me shoot. It was pretty a long shot. I shot them like all the way this way, but it is what it is. I'm telling you, this is like the first bird I saw in three hours. So I had I had the GoPro going, but I had it off because I wasn't seeing anything. Try to conserve battery. So when you're cleaning the bird, you got the breast right here. I try to clean as much feather feathers away from the breast as possible you're gonna see this spot right here if you put your thumb you're gonna feel your thumb you're gonna feel like a little like a little hole you're gonna feel this breastbone right here and at the point you put your thumb in there and your thumb goes perfectly in it and on the top part you're going to feel the breastbone on top and your uh, index finger is gonna could go in there and which all, all what you're gonna do here in uh, Texas to legally transport a dove you have to have the wing on um, you can probably you know you can take the dove off the bird hole as long as you transport the bird but here what I'm gonna do is the legal way so you got the dove right here the whole dove index up here your thumb right in here and what you're gonna do is I hold like three-fourths of the bird so I hold from the neck the body and this left wing and I leave this right wing you know alone you're gonna put your finger down grab all the internal organs and then all you're gonna do is just pull so you got all this right here I got the wing right here the left wing I'm just gonna take that off pull it apart and now you have the breast dove and you have the wing so in case you get pulled over by the game wardens here in Texas they can identify what kind of dove you have so that, like right here is a white wing so that's how you legally do it look how nice the meat looks it's gonna be great for jalapeno poppers but this is how you legally transport a dove when you clean it from the field to go to the house. So you got this breast, looks so good, and the wing to identify. And then the rest, like you can see like it just comes naturally apart, all intact. Uh, I didn't do such a great job as getting rid of this wing, but usually you can just do it quick, fast, in a hurry, and that's how you do it. So that's how you clean a dove. It's pretty simple it's almost like it was made 
to get shot and eat. So that's how you do a dove. So now we're moving on to the clean and cook part. So you guys see these doves are from the last couple hunts. Um, only got one. I didn't want to feel like doing a barbecue just for one dove. So I got these shears. Again, like I just said on my video, transporting of doves. Got to keep that wing on. So all you're going to do is just cut these wings off. I got these dogs that want to eat it, but they shouldn't. It's as simple as that. Just clip them off. These have been sitting for a while well, in the freezer. So all I got to do is just wash them off. Throw this wing away. Give them a rinse. And here are our dove breasts. Look how pretty those look. So, got my little knife. We're going to start with this fresh one. What we're going to do, you got this breast bone right there. I like to feel it, so I want to put the knife right against it. Move these out of the way. I want to put the knife against it at an angle towards the bone so I don't miss any of the meat and just work it. I like to scrape the bone just so I don't miss any meat. Go all the way down. Also like to push the meat a bit so I can see what I'm trying to cut so I don't cut too much meat. Well, I don't leave too much meat. Cleaning dove breast is pretty easy, guys. Separate it, just cut it right there. You got that bro you got that wing bone. That's the way it should look. Go on the same side, same thing. I like to I like to feel that bone of the center rib cage. I like to feel it just so I'm not losing too much meat. So I run the knife along it, spread it open. Just do some cuts. There you go. There is your dove breast. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of these. And uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. So next, is the preparation. So I'm going to get myself some bacon. I'm going to do some jalapeno poppers. Get some bacon. Get me a jalapeno. I'm going to get me a dove breast. Then I'm going to put some cream cheese right there. Put that dove breast. I'm gonna give me another jalapeno. Give me another thing of cream cheese. Put it right on top. Then I'm going to roll it. After I'm done with that, get me a toothpick, go across, and I'll get another one just to make sure that nothing moves. Go across, and there is our little jalapeno popper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. Get my bacon, get my jalapeno. 
get my cream cheese, get my dove breast, get another jalapeno, some more cream cheese, and then just roll it all together. Keep going. Get some toothpicks. Just to make sure it doesn't move on the grill. So I'm going to keep going until I do the rest of these. I think you guys got the hang of it. So I'm going to keep going. I like them a little thick. I like them with a lot of cream cheese. I like jalapenos. I'm not really big on uh, super hot food, but I like spicy. So usually two is good for me. I used to do the whole jalapeno. I didn't like it. So I like uh, a little sweet, a little savory, a little spice. So two jalapenos is good enough. I'll do the rest and we'll put them on the grill. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but we got these coals going. Uh, still a little bit too hot, but what I like to do with my doves Here from Texas. We like to smoke things so uh, I got have uh, some uh, Mesquite that's been sitting in some water uh, I'm gonna throw that onto the grill to get like a smoky flavor on these uh, jalapeno poppers I love the taste of uh, that smoky mesquite flavor so uh, I'm gonna let this keep going for maybe a few more minutes wait for that fire to die down because as soon as I drop these uh, wood chips it's gonna get blazing hot and then I'm gonna put the jalapeno poppers and we should be good to go to start grilling all right so I threw the wood chips in you probably can't see that smoke coming out but uh, oh it smells so good so what I'm gonna do is get these dove poppers on the grill oh i wish you guys could smell the wood burning just doing coal doesn't do it justice on the grill you gotta add those wood chips get that smoky flavor so what i'm gonna do all those Doves are on the grill. See that smoke coming out? I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna get all this smoke coming out of this little pipe. Mmm. I can't. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells fucking um, amazing right now. It smells amazing. So these dogs smell it, but I wish you guys could. So as long as the bacon uh, has a little bit of a a crunch or a little, you no, know, it's not too soft. We should be good to go. So we're gonna let it go. So this is the final part of this video so this is a jalapeno popper with a smoky taste to it i'm telling you guys you need to try it so here it goes mm. So good. There's a jalapeno popper with that smoky taste. Mmm. The jalapeno achieves the bacon. That smoky wood, it makes it so worth it. I'm telling you guys, if you guys have never done jalapeno poppers without some wood, some, I think it's um, mesquite wood, but I'm telling you, do it like this way. Put it on the grill, put some wood on there, smoke it. How I do it, I get the coals hot. As soon as the fire starts to flame down, 
I throw wood because the wood's gonna start to bring it back up. After that, I put these uh, poppers on there. It is so good. I let it sit in the water for about 30 minutes. Throw on the grill. Mmm! Oh, good that is. So good, huh, Dina? So good, you get a little jalapeno. So I can't wait to finish these up. Might take some to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm sorry I couldn't present you guys more of a dove hunting video, but it was super slow. Only caught one the whole day. So I'll see you guys later.